Welcome to Hardy Manufacturing. We happen to be today in the Red Bluff community of Loris, and I want to thank Jimmy Clarkson for planting the seed with me that I needed to get out here to Hardy Manufacturing. I want you to meet the outside sales manager, Gary Randolph. And Gary, tell us about this plant because it's truly local from the start. Hardy was uh, founded in 1958 by Eldridge Hardy whose home is still here on the property and his widow still lives here. Uh, started manufacturing sprayers for the agricultural community. After he built his first one, it was such a hit, the rest of the farmers in the community wanted one like his and there was 12 ordered before he could get the first one totally completed. And from there, uh, the industry has gone into other segments. Uh, those segments are four basic equipment groups, uh, landscape equipment, rotary cutters, of which we're standing here on top of one, uh, hydraulic boom cutters, and sprayers. We'll talk individually about those in just a moment, but Eldridge was a great guy and he believed in hiring local people and supporting the local economy big time. To start uh, the manufacturing process, he went to the local schools, found talented farm boys who could come in after school and start their work. Uh, even had a painter who came in at night, what they manufactured during the day, they would paint up at night to be ready to sell, you know, sometime later. Also, the slogan for the company that he did was farmers building equipment for farmers and it's stuck with that to this day. And a lot of Mr. Hardy's family members still work here. They still work here and the company is owned uh, by four of the family members currently. It's amazing though, when I started researching that you guys ship farm equipment, not just throughout the United States, but all over the world. I heard you even had a shipment to Greece. That was one of the first international shipments. Uh, went to Athens for a farming operation over there. We deal with some companies in South Florida that send it to the Caribbean and to South America. Uh, we handle out of here most of the eastern U.S. Uh, we go as far as Louisiana, uh, Missouri, uh, and Arkansas out of this location. And we have some distributors in other parts of the country that we ship to and they sell the products. Now in the let's farming. talk individually about the equipment. Um, you mentioned the sprayer first. How is that used on the farm? Sprayers are used predominantly over crops for weeds, for all pesticides, whether it be insecticide, herbicide, etc. And all of our sprayers are fully adjustable to go underneath the leaf crop or on top of the crop or to spray the ground, whichever you happen to uh, need to do. Tell me about another piece of equipment. All right, we go from there. The next product was rotary cutters. And rotary cutters, we build them from 42 inches wide to 15 feet wide. Incredible. Uh, and most everything in between. And that would be used just specifically for cutting the crops? No, not crops. Uh, be used maybe clipping pastures, mowing on the sides of roads. Oh, not, not, the, uh, not the actual edibles, but, no. but more specifically the grasses, etc. We're not into any processing equipment mm -hmm. for crop processing other than maybe just mowing hay. Keeping the farms manicured, that's so to it. speak. Oh, maybe that's the that's new it. slogan. <laughs> okay, and then what else? All right, from there we go into landscape equipment. The landscape equipment is utilized for leveling lawns around homes, spreading rock, spreading dirt, etc. And your final piece of equipment? That would be hydraulic boom cutters. Hydraulic boom cutters are three-point hitch attachments that mount two tractors where you are reaching out where you can keep the tractor on solid ground and reach out and the largest one goes out 23 feet, cuts five inch, six inch material, five foot cutter head on it and it also weighs almost 6,000 pounds. So you have to have a, a large size tractor but we build them from 250 horsepower tractors down to, we have cutters that will handle about 30 horsepower and tractors. And all of this was Mr. Hardy's ingenuity? That's correct. He did not have the formal training, 
but he had he was way ahead of his time. So he was pretty much born with that kind of brilliance. Yes, there's there's one in every generation somewhere. And I know that Mr. Hardy was very very well respected throughout the state, but especially here in Horry County, he was very benevolent as, as well. He was. He also received some state awards from the governor for his ingenuity, for his business sense and so forth. And besides being on some of the local boards and bank boards and, and so forth. But Gary, one of the things I was most amazed about as I toured the plant was that there's only 40 employees. When I read your information on your website and talked with you guys on the phone prior to coming, I thought for sure you must have at least 100 employees doing all this work. So 40 employees doing it all? Wow! Well, everybody wears a lot of hats here, that's for sure. And there's not a lot of segregation of labor in that respect. So if it needs done, somebody's got to do it. I saw Willie Sansbury over here kind of holding court with some of the employees. Mm -hmm. And uh, you tell me that uh, you and Willie are actually the newest members of the team, and most of these people have been here forever. A lot of them have, and most all are local to the community. Uh, but Willie and I are, we won't call ourselves outcasts, but we are we are the new guys and we don't live here exactly in Red Bluff. Now as you travel around the country, what are you seeing in the way of farm changes? What are some of the things that Hardy Manufacturing is going to have to do in the days ahead to keep up? Well, we see the industry going drastically changing uh, from the standpoint of size of farms. Hardy was founded for the concept of the small farmer to supply that type of equipment. The small farmer is just disappearing nowadays. The farms are getting much larger, hence we have to go to bigger equipment. It's simply a farmer that's farming 10,000 acres you know, may have need for some of our specialty equipment, but in a bigger size than someone who has three acres behind his home that he wants to mow as pasture. And yet, I have found as I travel throughout Ori and Georgetown counties that many of our farms, sadly, are becoming smaller, changing their operations, maybe even uh, parceling out to other folks. And do you find that a trend at all throughout yes. the rest of the country? It, it really is happening that way because the, the farm owners are just not there anymore. Uh, large farms, uh, because the guy who owned the small farm is now working somewhere else eight to five and will come home and do his garden or have his cow behind the house or whatever. So Gary, how is all this marketed? Because I know you can't do it by yourself. Well, we don't do any retail selling at, at Hardy. We go strictly to a dealer group and that group may consist of John Deere dealers, New Holland dealers, Kubota, but someone reputable in the community who will represent the product as the owners want it done. All of the equipment that we manufacture at Hardy by VH attaches to a tractor. So we can go to any tractor dealership and it will all fit because of the universal three-point hitch and power takeoff that are on tractors. We manufacture nothing that has its own power unit. So friends, when you hear the term Hardy Manufacturing, know that the official name is? Hardy by EVH Manufacturing. And that means? Eldridge V. Hardy started the manufacturing company. And what a wonderful man he was, and what a great company this continues to be today in Loris. Bravo.